Welcome to the Q On Demand podcast, your source for expert tips from the authors of the Q On Demand series. For more information on the topics covered in this podcast series and for bonus online content, visit QOnDemand.com forward slash podcast, home of the visual, color, step-by-step reference guides for all your CS4 learning and more. Hi, I'm Steve Johnson, and welcome to another edition of Q On Demand podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about gradients in Illustrator CS4. I have an object here that I'd like to apply a gradient to. And in the swatches panel, which I have already opened up here on the right hand side, uh, there is a swatches library panel uh, menu that you can actually go ahead and select. And it's great because you can actually, it has a bunch of different gradients already set up for you. And so let's go ahead and apply one of those first. So let's look at color harmonies. And so what it does is when you select that, it will go ahead and bring up uh, another panel with a lot of different uh, gradients already available for you. So let's go ahead and click one. Our object is already selected, and if I go ahead and click it, Illustrator CS4 automatically applies it. And so what's great about it is you can say, oh, I kind of like that one, but let's see if we can make some adjustments to it. So what you can do is you can open up the gradients panel, which I already have here open, and you can see uh, the gradients. And a gradient basically is just a blend from one color into another color. And you can have multiple colors within a gradient. After you apply a gradient, you can go ahead and make adjustments to it uh, in the gradient panel. The, I already have the gradient panel open, and you'll notice the, uh, you can see the different colors that have already been applied within this gradient. Uh, you start from a blue over here on the left side and you go all the way over to the right and it's more of a gold. And so you'll notice on the bottom of the gradient slider right here are different stops. And if you go ahead and click on those different stops, you can um, adjust the color. So if you want to adjust the, the gold on the right a little bit, you can uh, adjust the location uh, on the slider and it will adjust it automatically in the document. If you want to adjust the blue, get a little less to the left, you can do that as well. Now, if you want to actually change one of the colors, you can go ahead and click on the, the stop and then go ahead and click in the color panel, go ahead and click on it, and then we'll go ahead and make that change for you. So you have a lot of different op options in order to be able to adjust gradients in Illustrator CS4. One of the things you can do is, uh, in the gradient panel, there's what's called the type. Now, we have right here what's called the linear type. And the linear type goes from left to right. And if you want, you can change it to what's called the radial type, which uh, allows you to start the gradient from the center and move outward. Uh, so you have different adjustments in terms of the gradient. And you can create lots of different really cool effects. Now, one thing that's new with gradients in Illustrator CS4 is the fact that you can now apply transparency to a gradient. And so all you need to do is select the, the stop that you want to do, and then go ahead and drag it to the transparency that you want. Let's go ahead and do 80 right there. And you'll notice that it becomes a little more transparent. Uh, and so this is a, a great new feature in, for gradients. In addition to working with gradients uh, in the gradients panel, um, you can also work with gradients using the gradients tool uh, in Illustrator CS4. And you, once you click the gradient tool, you have instant access to working with gradients right on the object. And so let's say you have a linear gradient that is applied to this object. Now you can go ahead and change the angle and direction of the gradient by simply clicking and dragging uh, across the object. And that allows you to be able to make some really neat adjustments uh, with clicking and dragging. In addition to using the gradient tool to change the angle and direction of a gradient, you can also use the gradient tool to actually make adjustments um, to the color. Uh, just as you did in the gradient panel, instead of using the gradient panel, you can now use it directly in the object. And what's great about it is you can, once you select the object, you can now uh, click on an f-stop and drag it and make adjustments uh, 
um, right there on the graphic. And so this is a powerful new tool that you can use in Illustrator CS4 to make fine-tuned adjustments uh, to your grading to get it exactly the way you want it. For more information and bonus online content, visit QOnDemand.com forward slash podcast. Home of the visual, color, step-by-step -step reference guides for all your CS4 learning and lots more. QOnDemand.com forward slash podcast.